What is up you guys? I'm back today with another YouTube video. I have a new camera. It's a new vlogging camera. I'm very excited. I'm going on a trip in less than two weeks now. And I will be taking this and vlogging the whole thing. So stay tuned for that. Today's video though is Zillow listings. We all love it. We all enjoy it. It's, 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 Fun. It's early in the morning. I don't think I've ever filmed at like 9 a.m. My life's been good. How have you guys been? I've just been kind of doing a little spring cleaning. We're almost entering summer. I've been rearranging my room. I hung some curtains. I donated like four garbage bags filled with clothes and shoes. And I just went through all my closet, all this. Like I've just been going through everything, organizing, getting rid of stuff, cleaning. It's spring cleaning. So I just feel like it's time, you know? So the, yeah, that's my life update. I have a really big trip like I said coming up we've been planning for it for a while it's very far away and I'm very excited so that's my life let me know how you guys have been and let's get into this video thank you for clicking on this video and subscribe if you want to say hey down below follow my other socials Instagram TikTok, the best place where I'm the most active so all of that will be up on the screen link down below however you want to however you want to find it pull out your phone open the app whatever whatever you got to do so let's get into this this camera also says that it's gonna die in 11 minutes. This new camera has a viewfinder and I really need to look here and not here. Is this even noticeable? It's probably noticeable. So I'm gonna try to not stare at myself the whole time, but I'm gonna stare at myself the whole time. So just whatever. Let's get into these, okay? We're in De Plain, Illinois. $750,000, five bed, five bath, and it's 8,500 square feet. Lots of greenery. Oh my God. Okay. This is, this is strange. This is really strange. Oh, this kitchen. I'm sorry, this like stove situation? This is very odd. Wood paneling, the baby curtains, they always get me. Looks like a doctor's office. Oh, I don't like beds that are just like in the middle of the room, you know? We're gonna be having to take fan breaks because I'm sweating. It's the summer, it's getting hot again, so. I don't like beds that are, that are in the middle of the room like that. It kind of weirds me out. I don't know, I like a bed anchored to something, a wall, a window. It's just kind of free floating like that. It weirds me out. This is the ugliest bathroom. Lone chair. We know how I feel about lone chairs. The curtains, hideous. There's literally a tree in the middle of this house. Okay. Huh? 1916 Ford Model T purchase from Riverview Amusement Park. $10,000. Okay. What the f is going on? This house is weird. It's really, really weird. The carpet. Here's what I'll say. These old houses, the decor is shocking. They just don't make them like they used to. I don't know. These like white cookie cutter builder grade houses are just like copy paste. I'm not saying one is better than the other, but because we all just saw that listing, but it's just interesting to think about. I don't know. Just think about it for a little bit. We're in Pleasanton, Texas, six million dollars. Oh wait, I didn't say who sent this. Thanks Anna for sending me this one. Six million dollars, nine bed, 10 bath, and it's 6,000 square feet. Okay, this is odd. What? That is not what I expected. What is going on, taxidermy? What is that fireplace? Mm -hmm. That's the skinniest island I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. What is this bathroom? What is happening? Oh God. What is that? What is happening? We all know I want a bidet, so I'm like into that. <laughs> These bathrooms, oh my God. What is this house? There is no, like what? Okay, this kitchen? Okay, a basketball court. Oh my God, what is that? That was really weird, 6,000 square feet. Can you imagine having nine beds and 10 bathrooms in your house? Oh look, your estimated monthly payment is only 40,000 a month, so that's good. <laughs> that's just more than the average American makes a year. You is your monthly payment for your house. And it comes with 147 acres. I think I'll pass. This next one was sent to me by Jenna. Thank you, Jenna. Oh, this is realtor.com, switching it up. We're in Herman, Missouri. Herman, Missouri. Herman. I'm so sorry if your name is Herman. I'm not making fun of it. It's just Herman. Three bed, four bath, 6,000 square feet, and it's $345,000. Okay. 
I see a cemetery. So we're really starting off great here. Okay, this is a church. Look at old Herman there. <laughs> Herman, Missouri. I feel like I need to go to Herman now. Oh. Mm, it's like fully renovated. Okay, this is a house. Mm, you know when people turn a thing that's not a house into a house and you can just tell because it's really like weirdly laid out and there's weird things? This is that. Uh, I wonder if it's still a church. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Is this just like their storage area? Weird. What the f No. Where does that ladder go? What is the hole in the ceiling? No. That toilet in the middle of the bedroom? What? This is very, very odd. I would not like to live in a church. Like an old church renovated into a home. No. That's bad juju. Mm-mm. No. Nur. That television from the 80s? Hello? Mm. First of all, it's a creepy basement. Second of all, it's in a church. Double whammy. Hot tub. <laughs> awesome. Um, I don't know about all this. It's in 1907. Definitely haunted. And that's it. That's the whole church house. Oh my god. This next one was sent to me by Summer. Thank you, Summer. Oh my god. We're in Palm Springs, California. Two million dollars, three bed, three bath, and it's 3,000 square feet. Look at these photos. Okay. <laughs> okay, huh. Right. Mm-hmm. The, the statues, as we all have. Okay. We're really going for the shag carpet. Oh, that's kind of cool. Some little vintage things. Okay, little kitchen. That's cute. That's a cute kitchen. Titty's out, though. <laughs> In that painting, okay. Free the nips. This is fine. I'm running out of nice things to say about this. Okay, this looks like the Wizard of Oz. Oh my. <sighs> okay, now we switch to pink. Okay. Hmm, beautiful window. Why, why would you have a beautiful wall of windows overlooking your private pool and hot tub and stick the largest piece of furniture in front of it, blocking the whole view? Make it make sense. This is odd. Uh, carpet in the bathroom, first of all. Carpet in the bathroom. The tub is in the middle of the room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Blue, blurry. Okay, this is... We know I like commitment to theme and they're they're doing the colors. Oh my, oh my God. The patterns. Literally, what is that beeping noise? The patterns. What is that beeping noise? Am I crazy? Literally, I'm not investigating that, so. Okay, cute, nice pool area. Hot tub, this is nice. Beautiful front yard, oh this is just beautiful. The outside is just lovely. That was, that was shocking. <laughs> okay, I'm back, my camera died, and then I charged it, I figured out I can charge and film at the same time, and then I started recording and my SD card was full, so I had to like figure that out. Made a little latte, I love how I was like, I'm sweating, makes a hot coffee. Got it. This next one was sent to me by Aaron and Kristen. Thank you, Aaron and also, thank you, Kristen. We're in Omaha, Nebraska. $210,000, three bed, two bath, and it's 2,000 square feet. That's a big <laughs> There's a large chicken statue, that's the joke. I wasn't being vulgar for no reason, okay? This is a cute little normal house. Hmm. I take that back, okay. Wow, I need to take like a Xanax to look at this. Nautical themed. <laughs> like, what do I even say about this? This is the pirate statues. It's a pretty small living room and we, we've we managed to put a lot in it. Look at me, I'm finding positive things to say. Is that even positive? Pirate themed living room. Okay, that's new. Oh my God. What's happening on the ceiling? That's my first question. I don't even know what's happening behind, like on the walls, the pictures. Right, there's a knight. There's a knight statue, of course. Duh. This is a kid's room, it appears. Minecraft and such. Jesus paraphernalia. We've managed to fit a lot in this house. I'm, I'm honestly impressed. Okay, that's a normal bathroom. That's normal. Sure. Tax, 
Jesus paraphernalia, taxidermy. Always. Of course there's taxidermy in here. Of course there is. This house has like so many TVs. Okay, that was the house that we just looked at. That's what I'll say about it. This next one was sent to me by Oslam. Thank you, Oslam. We're in Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin. $1.3 million, four bed, two bath, and it's 1,500 square feet. Not to immediately assume things. 1.3, this is your $1.3 million home. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Taxidermy. Of course. A bear and a deer. I almost said chicken. More taxidermy. Ugh. Oh, the scary doll statue. That's it. That's really it. Location, location, location. 14 acres of prime acreage located off of I-90. Short walk to Walmart, Home Depot. Listing includes a house, two car garage, heated outbuilding. Price to sell at less than 92,000 per acre. I don't even know what to say about that. That is severely overpriced. I don't give a if it's close to a Walmart. $1.3 million for a 1,500 square. Okay, we're moving on. I don't want to get all negative here. This next one was sent to me by Anastasia. Thank you, Anastasia. We're in St. Augustine, Florida. $949,000, two bed, four bath, and it's 2,000 square feet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this doesn't look real. Oh my God. Okay, that that's a beautiful location. The big windows, the ocean view. This is lovely. That's a dream. I would love to live on the beach. Oh yeah. Okay, but the stilts, I understand water and hurricanes. Those little sticks holding up that big house. Interesting. This next one was sent to me by Ellie. Thank you, Ellie. We're in Lenoir, North Carolina. $1.9 million, five beds, six bath, and it's 7,000 square feet. Oh, this is fancy. This is very fancy. Mm. Ooh, okay. Why do I want one of these painted of me and I wanna hang it in my house? But I want it to be comically large. I need this painting to be like 30 feet long and like 15 feet high and it needs to take up like a whole wall. I just want a painting of me in like weird clothes. I don't know why. Oh, ugh, are those curtains? Why? Or is that wallpaper? I think it's wallpaper. Hideous. Hideous, this is so ugly. Come on, you're not sitting in here and like chatting with your friends. This looks so uncomfortable. See, this is what I want. I want framed paintings of me, oil paintings. Hideous. Why is this the second night statue we've seen? Really? Why? Oh God, we put the hideous wallpaper on the ceiling too. And then we got matching drapes. And then we got matching bedding. And then we put it in the bathroom. <laughs> Oh my, oh my, really? Okay. It, I mean, it's pretty, but like hideous, you know? This next one was sent to me by Cassie and Sue. So thank you. Thanks for two years. We're in Linville, North Carolina, $29 million. Your estimated monthly payment would be $170,000 a month. $170,000 a month for your house. What the f Five bed, seven bath, and it's 10,000 square feet. Jesus Christ. This better blow my socks off. This is beautiful. It has a waterfall. Okay, this is beautiful. Mm. I, I get it's like a, a mountain cabin vibes. I don't know about it. Ooh, ugh. Taxidermy. We have a moose. See, this could be beautiful. Look at the huge windows. Why did we stick an antler chandelier there? And the furniture, I, I get it. I get it, it's a cabin mountain vibes. It's just not my aesthetic. Oh my God. So much taxidermy. What is that painting? It feels culturally appropriative. The chairs. This is just a beautiful location. You know how that other one was like, location, location, location. It's next to the Walmart off of I-90. This is a good location. 30 million though, I don't know. It's a lot of wine. Ugh, so much taxidermy. It's unique. It's it's unique, that's for sure. Oh my God. I mean, I love the indoor outdoor feel, that's nice. The antler door handles? What is happening? This is beautiful location. I mean, 
That's beautiful. Right, a golf simulator, sure. A sauna, duh. That's crazy. This next one was sent to me by Mallory. Thank you, Mallory. We're in Prescott, Arizona. $975,000, three bed, two bath, and it's 1,300 square feet. Huh? I'm five. A fox bra. It's giving Splash Mountain. This is giving Splash Mountain. I cannot believe this is someone's home. I just can't even believe it. That's a kitchen right there. Oh my. I've never seen anything like this. Clawfoot tub, haunted. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of something positive to say. Hmm. Hmm. What the f What is this? Right. Of course. No, for sure. Right. <laughs> what is that? Sure. Of course. Lion's tea sold here. Okay. What is, th what is this house? That's it. That's the last photo. I'm gonna need more than that. I'm gonna be honest. What the hell? This next one was sent to me by Amy. Thank you, Amy. We're in Brighton, Michigan. $875,000, three bed, four bath, and it's 3,000 square feet. It's a lot of roof. A lot of roof. Hmm. Uh, this is just looks lifeless and dull. Jesus paraphernalia. See if there's taxidermy. Terrible photo. Huh? The lion mural in the bathroom? Sure. What is this? Is that like a pool? Is that a hot tub? What is that? The murals? What's happening? These Some of these photos are just awful. What is this? The bar stools or saddles. That is not comfortable for anyone. Really? Does it, I mean, are we counting this as taxidermy because Jesus paraphernalia and taxidermy, my theory still holds up then. Come on people. Like, what is this? I'm scared to go inside. Okay, 18,000 photos of the outside. It's in the woods. And that's it, fan break. Ew, thank you, Lena, for sending me this one. We're in Hartford, Michigan, $315,000, two bed, four bath, and it's 4,000 square feet. That's a lot of land. It's valuable these days, you know. Okay, okay, there's a lot to look at here. So someone went into the carpet store, saw all the sample options for carpets, and was like, this blue one. I want it all over my house. The blue one. J interesting. It's just interesting. Carpet in the kitchen. This makes me physically angry. Why? What if you're making food and you spill it? It's in the carpet. Your pasta sauce. Your peanut butter and jelly from your sandwich you made. The freaking brownie mix. It's in your carpet. You can't just wipe it off the tile or wipe it off the hardwood. It's in, it's, it could stain too. <sighs> We're breathing. We're having a good time. We've matched the kitchen countertops to the blue carpet. Got it. <laughs> right. So we've gone really, really stylistic with the carpet. We're introducing patterns. So that's good. This is so odd. I've never seen something like this. I don't know, I just don't think I could get like cozy in here. It just is kind of weird, I don't know. What is happening? Carpet in the bathroom. Of course it's the blue carpet in the bathroom. Oh, now we, we've switched drastically. Hmm. This is just awful. Lone chair, this is awful. Oh my God, carpet in the bathroom. Carpet in every square inch of this house is like what I'm getting. See, look how gross that carpet looks. It's just not, it's not good in a bathroom. Mm -mm. No, what is this? We really liked blue. Maybe there was a sale on blue carpet this day. Red, now we've gone to red. Oh my God. This is so interesting. I would have never expected that. Okay, that's it. Look at this house right here. Would you have expected what we just saw? 
in this because I didn't. That was that was shocking. Okay, this last one aw, was sent to me by Amanda. Thanks, Amanda. We are in 29 Palms, California. $857,000, two bed, one bath, and it's 1,800 square feet. This is an interesting area of California. Joshua Tree, Yucca, Pioneer Town, 29 Palms. That whole area is very interesting, so I am very excited to see this. This is what I wanted. This is what I was expecting. I need to see this. Oh yeah. <laughs> like what? We put two mannequins. We stationed two mannequins at the entrance of our home. I am just fascinated by people who make these houses. Like what? This is fascinating. <laughs> what is this? Oh my God. It's unique. Blech. Taxidermy. Disco ball, sure. Scary mannequin, got it. Oh my God, I have never, I don't even know what to look at. Every second my eyes see something new and shocking. Oh my God, oh my, oh my, I have never, I have never in my life seen something like this. Oh, I don't even know what to say. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hot tub. What's with all the like armless, headless mannequins? It's giving Jeffrey Dahmer. That is in the middle of nowhere. Solar panels. Okay, we're, we're uh, self-sufficient. Self sure. That is in the middle of nowhere. Oh my God. I don't even know what to, like I, there was so much going on. I need to meet the people who made this house. How did, how did, how? Where did we get the armless mannequins? The tiles, where did that happen? The weird statues, where did we get those? People are fascinating. That's what I'm learning through all of this. I'm just like, people are fascinating. I want to know their thought process behind these. Well, that's it. That's the whole video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm also not wearing pants, so I hope that didn't come up in any of the shots, me and my undaloons, but thank you for watching this. Subscribe. That would mean the world to me. Leave me a comment. Say, hey, tell me your thoughts. Yeah, follow my other socials. Like I said, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, thank you. I love you. I think that's about it. I'll see you in my next video. So stay tuned for that. Keep your eyes peeled and we'll chat soon. Love you. Bye.